Welcome to this tutorial part 2 of inventory count solution. In this tutorial part 2, you will get to know that how user can perform inventory count sessions that are assigned to them. Well, if the user is logged in with his own user ID, that is the user's login ID, then the user will be able to track only the inventory count sessions that are assigned to them. You, the user cannot see the inventory count sessions which are assigned to another user. Only the admin user or manager can see all the sessions and all inventory counts. So here I'm on dashboard of Odoo and switching to inventory count solution. Now to perform inventory count sessions that are assigned to me as a user, you need to switch to this sessions functionality in documents where the list of all the inventory count sessions that are assigned to you will appear at present as i am logged in as admin user so here i can see inventory count sessions of all the users otherwise if i would have logged in as this michelle admin or demo user i would be able to see only the inventory count sessions that are assigned to me as demo user so you can also switch over to this inventory count sessions from this inventory count. So let me do the continuation from tutorial part one where I had created this inventory count with suffix 008 and created two sessions where one was assigned to Michelle admin and another was assigned to demo user. So I'm selecting this inventory count session with suffix 010 which is assigned to demo user. And let me show you that how user will perform this inventory count sessions. So now user with name demo will go to this warehouse that is SIL, this location SIL desktop and start counting the physical quantities which is present at this location. You can see this messages appears. These are for the barcode scanner. That is when this option is enabled, and you are supposed to count the products using barcode scanner. At that time, you need to follow these steps. So at present, as this option is disabled, let us continue with how user will do physical counting of the products and how user will enter those counted quantities in this inventory count session, which is assigned to them. So here, I need to select the product as a user. So say, for example, I'm selecting laptop product. So laptop is the product to which the serial numbers is assigned. First, as a user, I need to click on start button when I'm started when I have started performing this session. So I'm removing this line, clicking on start button. So now when I will select the product over here, and as this laptop product is assigned serial number, so that appears here. When I will select location over here, that is SIL stock, the quantities, theoretical quantities will appear here, which says that these are the quantities that are present in ERP system. So one by one, I will go to this location and I am entering all the serial numbers that are physically present at this location. So you can see that theoretical quantity will appear by default which is present in ERP system uh, in your inventory module or in your ERP system. And if, for example, I have deselected this serial number, then here nine quantities that is counted by me as a user at this location will appear. Let me, as an example, select the same con counted quantities. That means all these 10 products are present at this location. Then I need to just scan it. Next, as a demo user, let me start counting on the product, which is mobile covers. So I need to select location here. Mobile, mobile cover for mobile covers, the serial number and lock numbers is not assigned. So that will not appear here. I will count physically that how many mobile covers are present at this location and warehouse as demo user and I will enter those quantities here. Say for example, total 15 quantities are present, I will scan it. Next, 
let me select another product now, which is glass jar. That was assigned to me. And glass jar is the product to which the lot number is assigned. I will select the location here. And then the lot number, which is physically present at this location and warehouse, I will select that. So that appears. See, in the app, it is showing that total 30 quantities of this glass jar is there for this lot number. That means in box with lot number GJ11, there are total 30 glass jars. I have counted it and said that, say, for example, there are 25. And I will scan it. So once I have completed counting of all the products that is assigned to me as a user, I will click on submit button. Say for example, after counting these two products, I am taking break. At that time, I need to just pause this session. The time will be registered. And when I click on submit, I can also see that how much time I had taken to perform this physical counting of these products at this location. So just give this as an example that the difference in theoretical quantity and counted quantity has appeared for two products that is mobile covers. In ERP it is showing zero, whereas for example, I had purchased it and kept it at this location, but its entry is not done in ERP and the person has counted and said that there are total 15. So that this is the difference for mobile covers that is 15 and for glass jar there is difference of 5 quantities user just, user just need to submit it so this is how the user can perform inventory count sessions so next say for example now i am the admin user sorry initial admin user so i will perform this session also what will happen over here that if admin user will switch to this inventory count here if i am admin user and i am switching to that inventory count that is created by me and if i will click on this complete counting button then please submit and validate all the incomplete sessions before completing the counting that means i as admin user that eric admin user i will have to wait that both the sessions or uh, that by the user Michelle admin and demo are completed. So this is again one more advantage. So now as a Michelle admin user, let me just complete this session. So I will click on start button. I will select product over here. Any of the products, say for example, I am selecting 15 watt LED for this location. And I am saying that, okay, 40 quantities are present and I am scanning it and submitting it switching to inventory count again and then to sessions see you can see that both the sessions are in done state that means both the users have completed their task so next the session the performance of inventory count sessions by the user is completed that is the task which was assigned to the user to do the physical counting of the products at this warehouse and location is complete. Next, approver need to either approve or reject the counted quantities by user and complete counting of this inventory count. So to see that, switch to next tutorial part three. So thank you for listening till now and for any queries, you can contact us through details mentioned in the description below.